What's going on, Doug Chasers? Today we are going to be installing HR Super Sport Springs onto the Mark 6 GTI. So let's just go ahead and get right into the install. We're back at it with another spring install because we didn't learn from our mistakes on the Mark 7. So the springs are over here. Got yeah. HR Super Sports. So set about a one and a half ish inch drop with these springs. Um, hopefully we can go for beating our record of 10 hours on the uh, Mark 7. So we'll update as we uh, progress through this and hopefully don't want to kill ourselves by the end of it. So we've made some progress. Um, my sway bar end link, um, whatever that, not bearing, um, what's it called? Um, the, the, the ball joint. Uh, it's basically blown, and also we stripped this little guy. So we couldn't really get the sway bar end link off, so we just took the strut out with it still attached. I'll have to replace that, and I might just get a new sway bar while I'm at it. Um, but yeah, so now we got to put on the spring and get the top hat off. So after like 30 minutes, finally got the old spring off. Um, we hate rust. Yep. Turns out a nine-year-old car, eight-year-old car, probably has a lot of rust in it if you live in uh, Chicago. So, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Remember that. Remember that. So, now we gotta retighten everything. That's still stripped, so we gotta figure out something to do with that. And then we have three more to go. So we gave up on the driver's side for now. Um, basically, we can't get the end link off because of that stupid stripped, not bolts, but this thing. Um, not to mention, they're, they're heavily seized together. Yeah. So we're going to pick up new end links hopefully tomorrow uh, and then come back and finish this up. But while we're at it... We might as well just keep on going. We did get the end link off of the passenger side, which is very, very good. Which took a while to get off. Yeah, a lot of brute force. <clears throat> so now we're just going to go ahead and hopefully get this one all set and done. And then we think on the rears it's just one bolt. Uh, this one bolt right here that'll detach the lower control arm. We can lower it, get the spring out, pop in the new one. But we'll probably have complications as usual so we'll be back all right and we're back on day two um so where we last left off are my sway bar end links basically we stripped this side um so we had to go out and get a new one but we went ahead and got two just replace the whole front set so it'll be easier in the future um, and we also had to pick up an angle grinder to get off the end link on this side. So Vince has already done that. Completely just went after it, which is nice. It's hot. Oh yeah, I bet it's gonna be hot. Wow, that's yeah, really hot. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we finally got it off. And we went ahead and got these from a company called Moog. Um, weren't too expensive, but they don't have, what is, I keep forgetting what the like little star thing is called. Square. The triple square insert. So it'll be a lot easier to take on and off, which we won't really need to do, but it'll be a lot easier to get back on. Uh, last night, didn't film it, um, but we got both the rears done really, really easy. Just literally this one bolt that has to come off. Um, and then that lower control arm drops, put in the new one, did the same thing over here on the passenger side. Really easy. Uh, and then we did go ahead and do this front right one as well. Uh, the end link did not snap and we did not strip it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace that since we're replacing the driver's side anyway. Um, everything still needs to be torqued down, but other than that, we're just gonna go ahead and drop in the new end links and then hopefully torque everything down and she should be good to go. So what are you doing right now? I'm taking off this cover panel because I need to get to that end link. Oh, got it. And oh, so right, because so we need to get, oh, and try to take that one off, and that one it just Harder than budge. steel. Yeah. Fucking Superman budge. That's another thing we've noticed, like, with this whole driver's side, it's just been, like, 
god awful to get any yeah. bolts or anything off. Passenger side seems correctly torqued to everything, and then driver side, it's like someone just took the impact and just went to town on everything. Yeah, we don't really know what happened. I mean, yeah, there's some rust on this thing because it's from Chicago, but like, even with that, it just seemed kind of ridiculous. That'll work. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty annoying, but it's gonna take some time to cut through. Yeah, that's not a safe way. Safety is the number one priority. Let's, I wanna lift the car up more. Why you wanna lift it up more? Just so I can get more, like, myself in there. Mm -hmm. And link is out. No. No? It's, it's still in there. Out. The backing part. Oh, you can just. That's something I'm just gonna. Oh. Hammer it up. Now is our time for this boy. I can't remember if I filmed it yesterday or not, but we uh, snapped a screwdriver. So, uh. Alright, we got the little stuck boy out. It flew off into the distance over there. So now, just gotta put in the new ones. So, strut is in, a um, little finagling because of the knuckle rust, which was fun. Um, but now we're putting in the new end link on this side. Uh, here's one. So instead of the triple square, it has basically a two wrench point. So we got the nut and then this little guy right here. So hopefully that'll be easier and it won't strip like last time. Um, but then after we put in that end link, we'll go ahead and put in the end link on the driver's side. And then I believe all we have to do is torque everything down. So hopefully we don't have too many issues from here on out. You should check on God's speed. <laughs> no. Hey, my springs are good. Your springs are really good. I can't believe they're good, but... Yeah, and they've held up this far. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to talk too much smack about it. It's true. Look how you get me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting good on me. Alright, so we finished up the driver's side, finally. All done. End link in. Uh, still, have to still have to torque it down at the end. Vincent's over there getting started on getting the other end link out. I think he's just gonna use the angle grinder. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if I can if I can actually do it the right way. Because that would be easier than cutting it. Yeah. Um, hopefully it'll come out because like that whole passenger side hasn't been too it's been bad. Nice to us. It's been nice to us, unlike the driver's side. Alrighty. Um, obviously not. It was the wow. These ball joints are actually good. I mean, they're they're you can tell that they're fairly worn by how easily it is to move it. Yeah. But they're not, you know undone like the other one was. Just oozing with fluid and liquid? No, at, at, at this point it wasn't even, there's, there was no fluid in it. Um, I'm gonna look up and see how much sway bars are. Maybe I'll just get a new sway bar this summer. I think like 200. Uh, maybe not. And those come with end links. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe so, not. Maybe this would be like one of the la last things you do. Yeah. Out of the top. Oh, uh, you want me to bring it back straight? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, this is awesome. It's good. Watch this, that's All right, we got everything put back together on both 
driver and passenger fronts. So now Vince is looking up the torque specs. I'm gonna torque everything down, throw all these plastic bits back under the car. Wheels back on. Hopefully take it out for a little test drive. Specs for pretty much everything we did. Our boy P-Man Pop from uh, GolfM6.com uh, pulled us through. So shout out to you. Uh, P-Man Pop. P-Man Pop, coming in clutch. And just like that, everything <laughs> torqued down, wheels are on. Now we're gonna lower her, see how it looks. I can't do it again. Is it stuck? Yeah. You hope your wheel, my wheels what? Get in the car and turn your wheel. Like you can start it now, it's cause we're gonna go for a drive on this. Yeah, real quick. This is what we got, or the initial lowering. I think the springs are gonna set a little bit, or you think this is? Um, over the course of like, maybe like a week, I think they'll set maybe like a millimeter, nothing okay. much. Looks really good. I think you. It's a good shoe, but no, definitely lower. that much in the fronts too. All right, what do you want me to do? Yeah, that's straight. Like. I mean, I'll see how it is when I'm driving. Yeah, but usually it's down to like quarters of inches. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure that's still passable from an alignment shop. I believe that's that's in the green. Okay. Ah. Um, we gotta move the cars. Yeah. Like basically, you don't have as much like. Playroom, like when you turn, it turns. <laughs> okay, buddy, calm down. But so yeah, so it, it takes less. Um, the steering wheel is less effort, or hmm, not effort. I would We're not say good with words. The steering wheel takes basically like less turning radius on the steering wheel. Yeah, gives you more on the wheels. Also, less body roll. I'm noticing. Well, that's also because we probably over torqued the uh, end links, but I, I don't care. Made we'll make difference. it work. I mean, ride quality so far, smooth. Um, I'm not noticing any weird noises coming from them. I think there's a couple speed bumps up here. Yeah, the only thing we did notice, which was pretty much expected even with mine, was when we dropped it uh, to the ground, you could you could feel the uh, spring setting in place by uh, pretty much an audible pop for the spring getting dropped into itself. <laughs> My steering wheel's straight, the car's going straight, which is good. Well, yeah, usually alignments, uh, I think from what I remember, the alignment was like, Was it centimeters or inches? I think it was based off of inches, and I think it was like 0.10 of an inch was in the green. Oh, really? So it's uh, it's so like say if it was set for zero, mm -hmm. it'd be plus or minus 0.10 or 0.1, and that'd be in the green. So you could it could be something like that, you know. Sweet. 
Okay, calm down, buddy. We got a stop sign right in front of us. That's fine. These kids and their manuals. <laughs> got me bouncing off the seat right now. Let's see, install. Difficulty. Well, okay, if, if your garage cap, like if, if somehow, if you live in, you know, the southern states where it, it doesn't really snow or anything, you don't have salt on the ground, things like that. That guy just checked her out. Um, if you, if you if you're not if you don't have any of those problems, it's gonna be pretty easy. Yeah, I would like say if you have it, no, it would no rust. It's gonna be an easy job. The problem with this car is that we have rust. Yeah, considering we're based off of Illinois, you know, we got salt. Not to mention any other anything else we can find on the ground. Um, things just don't really like to like to break loose. Yeah. Not to mention it kind of seemed like these things were very over torqued which yeah. uh, could have been from the previous owner, things like that, but. The shop just using an impact. Though. Yeah, yeah. So install could be. It would, it would take you like an afternoon. Yeah. Like a good portion of the day. Yeah, plan Definitely out, plan out an easier afternoon. Easier than the Mark 7. Like assuming yeah. ideal conditions, easier than the Mark 7. That's true. Um, Ride quality from what I remember before, it seems pretty normal. Seems normal. like. I, it doesn't seem overly stiff or anything. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm in good and good. Oh my god. <laughs> Pog. Poggers. Can we get some Pog W's in the chat? Because that was definitely a W. 